Right, we're here today at Bury Campaigning for Free Public Transport. We have the Greater Manchester Campaign for Free Public Transport and we set up during the debate on the congestion charge. We said the answer to congestion wasn't uh, congestion charging, but actually something much more radical and much more beneficial to ordinary people, namely free and better public transport. We've been doing a tour of Greater Manchester. We've already been to places like Trafford and Manchester and Salford and Stockport and Rochdale and Bolton. We'll be getting up to places like Brigham soon. Today we're in Bury, bringing our message to you about why uh, free and better public transport is a solution to many of our problems. One of the reasons that we've come together is, as you'll know this week, the Copenhagen Climate Summit's taking place and one of the things that our policy of free public transport addresses is the question of CO2 emissions. A lot of the CO2 emissions, something like 20% of all those emissions come from the private motor car. If we can come up with some alternative to that idea of a private motor car, a more reliable public transport system, then basically we are going to get, be able to get people on the road. In fact, in a recent poll, the only thing 70 odd percent of the people interviewed said that they could possibly get them out of the motor car is free and better public transport. And obviously we do want to get people back on the bikes and, and public transport should be integrated so that people such as this gentleman with his bike can get on quite easily. I know it's something that's impossible at peak times at the railway station where I live. Obviously free public transport in itself would be useless if buses only turned up once an hour. What we need is a better public transport system and one that's more integrated so that people can jump, uh, jump off one form of transport onto another. You've got a situation, ideal one here in Bury where we have the Bury interchange and people can get on the metro into the centre of town, they can catch the bus, we've also got actually a steam railway track here as well. So th th this shows the what's potentially possible. We think that should be rolled out all across Greater Manchester and throughout the country as a whole and should be tied to free, uh, be free at the point of use. Our pensioners already have free bus passes. We think that should be extended to young people immediately under 21 so they don't have to pay, so school kids don't have to pay to get to school. We also so think it should be extended to the unemployed who are already on £64.30 weeks to find it very difficult to make it meet as it is. Obviously to get interviews and stuff like that they need to use public transport and we think public transport should be provided free for them. In Belgium, in the town of Assel, where this policy has been introduced, not only has there been a thousand percent increase in the use of public transport, but all the people and people with uh, lower incomes have been using free public transport to get around to things they may otherwise not been able to have done, see the relatives in hospital and so forth. So public transport of this nature also is enables better social inclusion and is a progressive policy all around. What we're advocating will create thousands of new jobs at a time when unemployment is rocketing. Unemployment is going out all, all over Greater Manchester. Here we have a policy which if we invested money in public transport rather than trying to bail out the banks could be benefit everyone. Put thousands of people into work, building the new trams and trains and buses that we're going to need and also creating jobs for new bus drivers, train drivers, guards and so forth. Also for the maintenance staff that would need to be employed to maintain the infrastructure and the vehicles that we're running. So another benefit there from the introduction of free public transport.